so far in today's show, we've learned about a revolutionary new way to utilize concrete in retaining walls, water features, and other landscape structures while having the look and texture of natural stone. Now let's continue with Brent Montry from Tri-State Stonemakers as he and his crew bring our project to life with their custom staining process. Well, Brent, we were here a day ago. You guys were wrapping up the pouring and stamping process. Now I look at it, I know it hasn't been stained, but it looks really realistic, like a natural rock outcropping in this area. Yeah, as soon as we get this stained, it's really gonna look like a ledge wall. Well, we mentioned earlier in the show, the homeowners were concerned about the impact of a project like this on their landscape design. Again, very little disruption, and you even brought in some black dirt to help turnkey this whole project? Yeah, we do offer a turnkey service. We work closely with some landscapers and we can bring in black dirt as we did here, uh, level all it off. We can even take it to a next level and uh, plant uh, plants in here as well. And just to recap, you had mentioned they contacted you because of all the rain that was coming off the roof was eroding out here, damaging the foundation of their barn. But here, looks like you have it all directed out into the yard. Yeah, you can see now with the wall here in place, uh, we regraded this to redirect the water uh, down where it needs to be. So it's not gonna uh, create any more damage for the foundation of the barn. Now, this is one solid piece of concrete. Yeah, if you remember, we dug the footing and we poured this all in one pour, so it's a solid monolithic pour, and there's spots where this thing's almost two feet wide, so it's not going anywhere. And when you compare it for other rocked wall or retaining wall options for a homeowner, this is really a stronger, more stable product in the end. Yeah, especially with the additives. The additives that we, uh, we put in the concrete is going to let it cure much, much harder than a regular concrete. Uh, you know, with the steel reinforcements, they said this thing's not going anywhere for a long time. And the homeowner's never going to have to worry about it shifting at all. I mean, in the freeze-thaw cycle, it's going to just float right there, stay in place, and they're going to have a, really, for the lifetime of their property, a beautiful focal point. Yeah, that's exactly right. Is it always necessary to let it sit overnight? Yeah, we like to let it cure at least a day. Uh, we can do it right away if we need to, but in this case, we waited a day, which is best. Anything special in preparation for the staining process? Well, we're going to brush this off and blow it off to make sure there's no dirt and debris left uh, from when we installed it, and then we're going to get to the staining. Before it looked realistic, but now it looks incredible. That stain really brought it to life. Yeah, the stain is really what uh, what makes this thing pop. It's going to make it very dramatic. You can see uh, it actually brings out all of the different textures in the rock. I love the way that there's different shades of color in here, and it does make it look like it's stone endemic to the area. Just like if you were driving down a backcountry road here, you'd see the different browns, the sandstones, the grays in here. Yeah, I mean, the whole purpose of doing the staining is obviously to make it look like a real rock, and you're not going to find a real rock that is just one solid color. So uh, we obviously take that into, uh, into the process of what we're doing here. And I know when you first started, I was looking over, and you were actually mixing up a concoction of paint. But it wasn't a recipe that said one part of this and two parts of that. Is that really the experience, kind of test different mixtures, trying to match the native rock? Yeah, I mean, over the course of time, we just find what works and, uh, you know, obviously with the area and what type of stone we have here, what mixture is actually going to work and bring out uh, a realistic stone. And along the lines of the stain that you use, what exactly is it? Well, it's a water-based stain, and the reason we go water-based is obviously better for the environment. Better for the environment. Is there going to be good longevity with that product? Yeah, this product will actually last for a long time. We do ask that every couple of years the homeowner will reseal this with a concrete sealer. That's going to help with UV protection, and it's going to make the stain last much longer. So actually, once this stain is allowed to dry, you're going to apply a concrete sealer to it? Yeah, we'll actually go over this with a concrete sealer, and again, that's going to give us good UV protection. It's going to get uh, much more longevity out of the color. Boy, I bet it's really even going to bring it more to life. Yeah, depending on what they want, uh, we're going to go with more of a natural look here. So it's going to have kind of a sheen to it. It'll make it look like a wet rock. Nice. I saw the guys in here actually artisans in action again, kind of dabbing, using paintbrushes there. Is that an integral aspect of the finishing process? Well, again, we do really consider ourselves as artists, and they'll come in here and, you know, try to uh, bring out some of these textures. They're going to go down to the smallest detail again, you know, with the paintbrushes, trying to make this thing look as realistic as possible. You know, I just love looking at it. I mean, as you go along here, everything is unique. It's truly custom, and it's not just a rock wall like this. I know the homeowners decided to add a planting bed. That looks realistic. It adds a nice dimension to this project, really creates a striking focal point. 
And I guess as I step back and look at it, what I'm impressed by is the time-worn, naturally distressed look that you've created. Even though you just did this yesterday and today, it looks like it's been here for 100 years. Yeah, that's one of the benefits to our product and really what sets us apart. Uh, we can create something that looks natural like it belongs uh, in your backyard. And again, along the lines of some of the other landscape features that you can create with this technology, you've mentioned in the past the water features. Those must be becoming very popular. Well, they are. As you can imagine, uh, people go on vacations to places like Disney World where you see a lot of these water features and all these rock structures, and we can actually bring that theme into their backyard. Is it turnkey from your standpoint? If a homeowner wants that in, can you come in one day and the next day be done? Well, it'll probably take us about a day and a half, but we can come in, we'll put in the water feature. By the time we're leaving, the water's running, everything's back to normal. I can imagine like a nice bar area, grill area. Heck, I was even fooled on a recent visit down to Disney. They had a tree stump that was cut off and I thought it was real, and here it was concrete. Yeah, I mean, really, the sky's the limit. We can create just about anything with these products. Well, it's great technology. I love to see the evolution of an industry, and concrete hasn't let us down. I appreciate you coming on and walking us through it. My pleasure, Stu. Now here are some key points to help summarize today's show. Whether you're in need of a retaining wall or are looking to add some design flair to your landscape, consider the unique Stonemaker product we saw on today's show. Not only does it have strength and stability not found in traditional rock and block retaining walls, it can be stamped and carved to create a truly custom appearance. And don't forget about the other unique uses, such as dramatic water features, stunning entertaining areas, and vertical applications on interior walls, all of which can create an unmatched personalized touch both outside and inside your home. Well, we're all out of time for this week's show. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time on today's Home Remodeler.